Okay, so now with this uh, seal pounded in, I'm to the point where I'd like to um, pressure test this lower unit. And so um, my understanding is that you can supply air <clears throat> into the fill hole, which is on the other side, sorry. Right there. Uh, so there's a little o-ring right here, tiny little o-ring that sits there. I cleaned the res, you know, there was just some corrosion and junk in there. Clean that out. Then this is one of the bolts for, or, uh, bolts for the uh, uh, water pump, the raw water pump. So I'm gonna use that and this piece of scrap that I found that just happens to, if I put this here, I'll put a bolt right there and then I'll probably use like washers or some other circus right there <clears throat> to clamp down and plug that that hole so that uh, I can put air into it and uh, see if it holds. So anyway, that's my um, plan. Might change here shortly, but that's what we'll try for now. Okay, so I got that uh, little clamp situation set up. I don't know if it'll hold air, water, or whatever uh, for testing, but uh, we'll try it out. So I got this tool from MerkStuff.com. It's a little uh, manifold with a Schrader valve and a pressure gauge on it. So what I did is, I believe I already showed, I covered this up and then uh, added air to that Schrader valve so this whole cavity is at 20 pounds right now so I'm just gonna leave it sit overnight and uh, see if any of it bleeds off uh, looks good so far but you just never know so we'll see how the test goes all right so it's been like a week and uh, this out drive has only lost like uh, what four pounds of pressure so I'm gonna call that good um, no real point in leaving this on for any longer and uh, we'll see about getting it to at least this portion of it buttoned up.